Hey, Guido, how you doing, man? Say, do you want to see something cool? Uh, of course you do. Watch this. Ready? Huh. Bam! <laughs> this is amazing. I'm loving this. Uh, okay, yeah, it's quite dangerous. I'll just put... I'll just put that back down there. Well, here we are once again within the disassembly dimension, and we still have a bunch of random items that we can use to uh, come up with some crazy science experiments. I mean, I feel like that's what we're doing, man. We are kind of, you know, experimenting, doing all these tests to see what breaks, what doesn't break, and uh, so far, I think, I think we're pretty certain that that thing breaks over there, and I just missed, so let me try that again. There we go. Anyway, we have everything from a screwdriver to the Titanic to a car to an aeroplane to an elevator to a train all the way down here. Can't get much. Wait, is that a space station? Oh, dude, we kind of have to check this out, right? Oh, nonsense, dude. Don't worry about it. Let's do this. This is one small step for Steve. One giant leap for Steve Kind. We're here in space and here is the space station. Look at it. Yeah, man, must have cost a lot of money to make. Anyway, let's uh, do something like this. Boom! Oh, whoa, what do you mean, dude? Come on, this is gonna be fine. Wait, it just exploded my gun. No fair, I want another one. Let me try this again. Boom! Oh, 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 oh that bit came off. I hope there aren't any astronauts in there. Holy moly, these must be like escape pods or something. But we can just shoot them to our heart's content. Oh my gosh, there are loads of bits breaking off here. Let's just keep... <laughs> Oh my gosh, this is amazing! Holy moly! Look at this! Everything's just busted! Okay, okay, this is fine. This is fine. Don't worry about this. This is okay. As I said, I really hope there were any astronauts on board because I think it's fair to say that they are pretty much doomed. Let's shoot that part right there. Boom! Oh, it's not blowing up. Oh, well, that's embarrassing. Oh, what was that? Let's go in for a closer look here. Closer try. Take this! Take this! Ah! <laughs> this is amazing! This is so cool! Oh my gosh, look at this! We're doing like a spacewalk on this big panel thing here. This is awesome! Let me just shoot this thing up just like this. This is so cool. This shouldn't even be working in space, I don't think. But one thing's for certain, we have pretty much just blown up this entire station here, and uh, there are only a few more- Oh, excuse me, sir. There are only a few more areas which are actually still together, like that part, and like this part. <laughs> oh my goodness. Things are just flying out of control. This is crazy. Where the heck did that thing come from? Okay. <laughs> This is so cool. We've only got 34 parts left. We might as well keep going. Like, can I actually get in here somehow? Can I actually find my way into this place? I want to see how the astronauts lived. Oh, this is so cool. So this must be one of the rooms of the space station. You can hear everything exploding out there. Hello? Anyone in here? It doesn't look like it. Let's just keep shooting the inside here. Oh my goodness. Um, are there any more parts that still need to fall apart? Maybe that bit up there. There we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm gonna let go of my gun for just a second. Oh no! Oh, that's a shame. Okay, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna show Hank this. Okay, Hank deserves to see this. Where is he? Here he is. Hank, how you doing, man? Look at all this stuff I've got going on here. What do you think? If you look right there, dude, that is a, uh, that's that's part of where the astronauts once lived. Uh, that's their bathroom up there. And uh, oh, Hank, you are no fun. You're supposed to be proud of me, man. I've just created all this destruction here. Look at this. There's bits flying left, right, and center that wouldn't have happened without me. I tell you what, take this. Oh, oh, did he, what's he doing? What's he pointing at? Are you okay? Are you dabbing? What's happening here? Hank, just please, oh, there he goes. Flying majestically into space. There he goes. Be free. Be free, Hank. You can do it. What, what is he, what is he pointing at? He's doing all these funky dance moves. Dude. Well, that certainly was interesting. Let's go back and let's, you know, reel things back in a bit here. We don't want to get too crazy. We'll come back to something a little bit bigger later on. But for right now, let's take on the lamp and the speaker. You know, two very basic items. They shouldn't be too hard to get apart. Oh, oh sorry, dude. I'm, I'm kind of addicted. It's just so much faster. If we have a problem, all we have to do is just shoot it. And that kind of solves the problem. <laughs> Anyway, apparently we have uh, 28 parts here, so we may as well get to work on trying at least to uh, sort this out legit. Let's see if we can get a, a little screwdriver in there. It looks like these screws might come undone. Maybe even the hex wrench. Let's try this. Hold on. No, it doesn't look like it. Okay, maybe it is the screwdriver. Let's go right here. Is it this tiny, tiny screwdriver? Yes, it is. So once we take these out, it should come falling apart. Now, we, d we need a different tool for this little screw there, but there should be others around here we can potentially work with. Here we go, we are taking the uh, screws out of the hinge here, so hopefully that doesn't cause this to like snap off or something. 
Uh, okay. Can work on getting these little screws out right here. And maybe this little metal part should just come off, right? Surely. Hmm. Okay, well, that's the... That's the little... The little, uh, anchor for the... Oh, there we go. We took that bit off. Surely we can take... There we go. Um... Saw it. Maybe it's the pliers we need for these parts. Yes, it is, I think. There we go. So we've got the pliers here. For some reason, they're making the noise of a drill. That's fine. Come on, come on. Get out of there. There we go. We should have another one just here. And uh, I think that's it. Should this part come straight off now or... Oh, well, there we go. So these silver parts can definitely start to come off now, which is good because everything kind of just breaks apart past there. How many more parts? Four? Four parts. It's time to bring out the part finder for these final couple of bits here. Now, I don't think there's anything beyond the table. I think it's all around here. Yep, so somewhere in this general vicinity is what we need to be looking for. So we also have another screw right there, one of those longer ones. So let me get rid of that. And that's all going to break apart. And that's it. We did it. Awesome. Okay, so now we have another very basic item. It is a speaker. It looks pretty cool though. So we should use the best tool available for this job. Something very delicate, very technical. It's the gun again. Uh, oh, okay, Guido. Fine. You're no fun. So apparently I am not allowed to use that, uh, that handgun right there to take apart this speaker, which is fine. I'm going to try the crowbar. Maybe, can I just... No, nope, okay. I can't just break it. Um, can I just... Oh, jeez. Please get back on the table. We're being very professional here in the, uh, in the words of Guida. Maybe I need a spanner here to take off these big hinges right here. Maybe not the... Okay, most likely not. I actually think it's just a very basic, yeah, screwdriver. So we unscrew these just like this, and this entire bit here should just slide out, right? Uh, it looks like it does. There we go. Okay, so we should be able to just get rid of the rest here and just slide it all out nice and gently. Just like, oh, yep, just like that. There we go. Drop that for a second. So these white parts have come out here. Now we've just got to get this part. Oh, okay. So the actual frames of the speaker can actually come out as well. Now we've just got to get rid of this wooden base somehow. What's that thing doing? It's having a dance. All right, so somewhere in... W would you just stop that? It's super annoying. Ah, you know what, Guido? I'll tell you what, I'll do something like this. There we go. 23 parts left. Okay, let's get back to being professional here. So somewhere within here, we should be able to get rid of this black base here. Okay, yeah, we've got this little circuit board here. That can just go out there. This can come out as well, I'm sure. Oh, I might be able to take this wooden frame off here, maybe? Uh, oh, it doesn't look like it. I actually do think I need the crowbar for this part. Okie dokie, let me get rid of this thing if I can. Oh, no, it doesn't seem to want to come off. I kind of feel like this... Surely this part at the top does, right? No? Hmm, maybe not. Maybe that's not the tool we need for the job. Uh, let me try something like this. Oh, that did it. So now can I pull the rest off? There we go. All we needed to do was just shoot it. And now we can actually start to slide the rest of it off here. I told you it was a good idea to bring the gun, Guida. Okay, let me do something like this. Pull this part apart. Does this not come? Okay, um, back to the gun, I think. Boom! There we go. <laughs> Sorted. How many more parts? Four? Okay, maybe the rest of the parts are on this tiny little circuit board. Although it doesn't look like it wants to pull apart. Maybe they're in the actual speaker itself. Um, let's grab the gun again, just in case. Boom! Come on! Oh! <laughs> oh, look, Guida! He's happy! He's dancing! This is great! How did that even get into there anyway? Okay, I think we need the part finder again. Okay, we seem to have detected maybe where the last part is. Yep, somewhere around here is the final part. It actually might be under the table somewhere, which is distressing. I actually kind of feel like it might be this thing right here. Ah, uh, there are some smaller parts within here we could maybe get out. Maybe we need a tool here. Let's see, maybe the pliers... Uh, yeah, it looks like something comes out there. Uh, hex wrench? Is it you? Are you the one? No, it doesn't look like it. Spanner? Is it gonna be? No? Hmm. Oh, so we have got these safety caps here, which we slide straight off, and then these things should be able to just slide straight out, surely. Um, pliers? Is this? No? We still need a tool. I tell you what, let me just put them right here. That way we can actually access them here. Okay, so it's not that tool. It's not definitely not gonna be the crowbar. Maybe it's the pliers? Surely. No, it's not the pliers either? What? Is it the precision driver? Nope. Uh, the test pen? Wait, what? We haven't even had to use this before. Why do we have to use it now? Okay, surely that's it. Yep, part zero. Brilliant. Okay, Guida, so I promised you something awesome for our final experiment today. Something huge, something massive, something you would never see coming. And I'm glad to be able to introduce you to our next science subject. It's a microwave. Well, yeah, but you realize how hard they are to get a hold of? I mean, it took me hours to hunt one of these things down. Okay, dude, yeah, they are in every average human household. You know what? Just for that, you're not having any pizza. And you know what, Guido? You're not having any of this chicken either. And I just pulled a part of it off. No, nope, you're not having any of this. 
Oh my gosh, did I just smash me? Oh my gosh, I just smashed the plate. Yeah, none of this. None of that for you. Get out of here, pizza. Hold on, let me pick this. Oh gosh, well, uh, okay. You know what? Fine, it's fine. We're not a cooking shirt. Sure. We're a science shirt. Sure. Today, I want to find out what happens when we microwave someone's head. Yeah, that's right. Hank really disappointed me earlier. You know, he wasn't taking, you know, a look at my various destructive abilities when I was blowing up that, uh, that science, uh, oh, the space station. Where are you? Where are you, Hank? No, not really. Mm -mm. So, as a punishment, Guido, we are going to be putting Hank into the microwave. Oh, dude, it's fine. It's fine. Don't worry about it. He'll be okay. He's made of wood. Okay, can I, like, grab you? Hold on. Just come with me, Hank. Hank, just, there we go. There we go. So, just feed you straight into here. Get, keep your head down, son. There we go. So, put you right there. Oh, my gosh. He's not enjoying that. Now, we've just got to kind of squeeze him in and press the button. Come on. Whack. Whack. <laughs> Okay, maybe we can turn the microwave on first. Oh, you can actually. Okay, where's the start button? Um, is that microwaving yet? One serving. Okay, there we go. All right, get in there, Hank. It's fine. It's fine. Just get. Oh gosh, he's not liking this. <laughs> oh my gosh. Okay, well this is clearly not gonna work. Thanks for that, Hank. My science experiment is ruined. Ah. I tell you what, son. I tell you what. Get on here. I'm gonna do something I should have done a long time ago. And I also kind of did it at the start of the episode, but ignore that. Here we go. <clears throat> well, uh, today, guys, we performed a few science experiments. And I think it's fair to say they all went fantastic. Yes, there may have been one death today, but that's fine. It's all in the name of science. I'd sacrifice myself for science, wouldn't you, Guido? Okay, man, whatever. But regardless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this installment of the Disassembly Dimension. Wait, is that an explosive there, Guido? Yeah, dude, I wonder what happens if... Oh, come on, dude, nothing's gonna happen. It's gonna be absolutely fine. All right, guys, thanks for tuning in, and I'll see you very soon. Oh!